For decades, astronomers have kept their eyes on one of the brightest, most enigmatic stars in the night sky. This star is called Betelgeuse, the colossal red supergiant resting in the shoulder of Orion. Massive, unstable, on the edge of collapse, scientists always knew the end would come, they just didn't know when. And now, it's happening. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we've witnessed something once thought beyond our reach, the birth of a supernova in real time, the violent end of a giant star, a blast of energy echoing across space, a rare unfiltered look at the forces that forge galaxies, shape worlds, and create the very elements of life. This isn't science fiction, it's the universe revealing one of its deepest secrets, and we're seeing it unfold before our very eyes. This isn't just another deep space observation. This is a once-in-a-generation event, the closest supernova humanity has ever recorded. And what we're perceiving changes everything. Betelgeuse isn't just big, it's a monster. Over 700 times larger than our sun and nearly 20 times as massive, it's long been on astronomers watch list. In 2019, it mysteriously dimmed, setting off global speculation. Had the countdown begun? Now, with Webb's unmatched infrared capabilities, we're seeing signs no telescope has ever revealed. Indicators of real-time collapse, massive discharges of energy, surface layers boiling and twisting, magnetic fields spiraling into chaos. Betelgeuse isn't just dying, it's transforming before our eyes. For months, Webb has kept its gaze locked on the star, peeling back layers of dust and gas to reveal phenomena once thought impossible to observe directly. And the data? It's astonishing. Convective bubbles the size of Jupiter burst across its surface, plumes of plasma stream into space at thousands of kilometers per second and buried deep in the light spectrum. A shockwave racing through the star's outer layers, marking the beginning of the end. This isn't a simulation. This is real. The anatomy of a supernova unfolding in real time, just 642 light years from Earth. Unlike distant supernova in far-off galaxies, Betelgeuse is in our cosmic backyard. Its explosion could outshine the full moon, visible even in the day sky. But its true significance, proximity. For the first time, we can study the physics of stellar death, how a core collapses, how elements are forged, and how shockwaves ripple through the interstellar medium. We're not just watching a star die, we're witnessing the process that gave birth to everything, to carbon, oxygen, and iron, the very atoms that make up Earth and all of us. What the James Webb Telescope captured is more than a spectacle. It's a key, unlocking how galaxies evolve, how planets form, how the universe recycles itself. For the first time, we can model the death of a star with stunning precision. We might even begin to predict future supernova, spotting the signs long before they explode. This is not just science, this is revelation. And it doesn't end with light. Webb has picked up early ripples of energy, high-speed particles blazing outward, heating surrounding gas, reshaping Betelgeuse's massive dust halo. But there's something else, a gravitational shift, a ripple in space-time itself. If confirmed, it would be the first time we've ever linked a visible supernova with gravitational wave data potentially rewriting everything we understand about matter, light, and space-time. And yet, the biggest mystery remains. What's left behind? A neutron star, a black hole, or something even stranger? Webb's data reveals an uneven collapse, magnetic chaos, asymmetrical fallback, material being pulled inward instead of exploding outward. Some scientists now believe we might be witnessing the birth of an entirely new type of object, theorized for decades but never seen, a transitional relic between neutron star and black hole, 
and Webb might have just found it. With a star exploding this close to Earth, many are wondering, are we in danger? The answer, not directly. Betelgeuse is far enough away to spare Earth from harm, but its explosion will send waves of radiation, gamma bursts, and electromagnetic chaos across light years. These may reshape cosmic dust clouds, shift interstellar structures, and change how starlight reaches us, altering our view of the cosmos forever. Betelgeuse reminds us, even giants fall. Even stars, those eternal lights in the night sky, are mortal. But in their death comes life. Because from the ashes of this explosion, new stars will form, new planets may coalesce, and maybe, just maybe, new forms of life will rise from the cosmic dust. Among Webb's findings lies something extraordinary, the detection of rare elements like technetium and yttrium, forged only in the most violent stellar deaths. These elemental fingerprints help us trace matter across time, from dying stars to newborn worlds, to the molecules within every cell of your body. This isn't just about Betelgeuse, it's about us. Betelgeuse will never shine again in Orion's shoulder. Its light will fade into a swirling nebula of dust and gas. But in its final breath, it gave us something far greater than brilliance. It gave us insight. This isn't an ending. It's a rebirth. And thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we were here to see it. In the silence of space, a star collapsed. But what it left behind was a cosmic message, one that began before Earth existed and will echo long after we're gone. So now we ask, what else will the universe reveal? And are we ready to witness it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Was this the most significant cosmic event of our time? Subscribe and turn on notifications, because what's coming next might just change everything again.